Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that's trying to be a long nobody. And today I am doing, I think it's my fourth part or f yeah, fourth part maybe in Would I Buy It Again? And this is a series where um, I saw it on uh, Betty Bean's channel first. I will leave her down in the description. I've seen other, other of my friends here on YouTube do this. But it is, I have asked my boyfriend to pick out 10 eyeshadow palettes in my collection and I will talk a little bit about the palettes and see if I would buy them again if they came out today. So I think we just dug in, dig into this and I'm pretty sure that I haven't talked about any of these palettes before. I have um, written them all down and I hope that I've done it right so I just going to scooch and then we hop into this. So the first palette he took was the VR Neon from Kaleidos. This is number four that they did and I love this palette. This is one of my favorite palettes when it comes, one of my favorite palettes from Kaleidos. I just think this is an amazing palette and I would absolutely buy it again. These two shimmers are so freaking amazing. I love this formula that Kaleidos had. It doesn't feel like they still do have this formula, which annoys me a little bit. But this palette is so, so good. These are really pigmented matte shadows. And yeah, the shimmers are amazing. So I would definitely buy this again. This is one of my favorite palettes when it comes from Kaleidos. And this is like, I don't have anything similar in my collection to this one. And I don't understand why they, this seemed to be like limited edition because it wasn't available for so long. And I don't know why. This is an amazing palette. Then the next palette is a palette that I have a little bit of, um, I feel a little bit bad about this and <laughs> it's hard for me to answer this. Uh, he took the Bubble Time palette from Unique Beauty and I haven't used this one. I actually got it from my friend Madeleine, friend, friend Madeleine and um, I haven't used it yet and I don't really know why. I have been thinking about using this for so long and I have thinking like a good red with me that I want to do with this palette but I haven't come to it and I have done other things instead and I feel so bad about this because I was so happy when I got it. I do really like Madeleine but it's just something I don't know why, it's, it's like I want to make this palette justice and make Madeleine justice, so I haven't come to this yet, but I will, I don't know, I, I can't answer about this because I haven't used it, so I have no idea, but it looks really, really good, and I promise you, it is going to come a video with this one. I don't know when, but it's coming. Next one is the Flare palette from Ace Pache. And this was the first palette I bought from Ace Pate. This was when they came to Beauty Bay and I have been craving this palette for so long. Betty Bean raved about this and other people raved about it and I bought it and I was a little bit nervous because the formula from Ace Pate, the old formula, isn't everybody's favorite. I bought this and I loved it. I still love it. I think it's a really good palette and like the orange shades and these two shimmers are amazing. I have no problems with this palette at all. I have done quite a few looks with this. I think I've done three looks one palette and like my first impression with this one I did an orange look that I loved. I would buy this again. I think it's just a really good palette that is colorful but still you can do like neutral more toned down looks with it and you can go like the grungy way, you can go to the more happy orangey way and this palette is just amazing and the shadows are so so good. 
I don't think any of these are bad actually. This is a really good palette and I do really like the color story. It has been though a really long time since I used it but it is one of my favorite palettes from Ace Beauty, so I would definitely buy this. The next one is the Infinity Deep by LH Cosmetics and if you didn't know this, <laughs> at one time I did buy everything that LH Cosmetics came out with. And um, this is their second palette. And I do like this palette. I have used it quite a few times. I have done a few looks with it on YouTube. But this is a palette that I mostly use like outside of YouTube. And I sometimes take this with me when I'm traveling because it has some really nice shades. I really like this light year and this Umbra is, Umbra is really good and red shift and also like this marsh shade. It's so so nice but it's nothing that I... I don't love this as much as I love the original Infinite palette. So I, I actually don't think I would buy this again. I think that the shades that I like in this one I can dupe in other palettes that I do have. So I actually wouldn't think that I would buy this again even though I really really like it. And it is something special about LH Cosmetics for me and especially these like first palettes. And I do love the front of this palette. I think it looks really really cool. So no, I wouldn't buy it again, but I do really, really love it. Next one is from Lunar Beauty and that is Greek Goddess. And this palette, it actually is a really good palette. It looks like this is a neutral palette with some pop of colors. And the thing that I really love about this color is it has such deep shadows. They are really, really pigmented, really, really deep, and the shimmers are also really good. I don't think, though, that I would buy this again because I don't think it is that special. It is good, but it's not that special, and I don't think it's like anything unique about this palette that I don't have in my collection. And if I'm going to be honest, I bought this because this was on sale. I think it was when it was um, going to be discontinued. Then um, Beauty Bay sold out these. And it's a good palette, but I wouldn't buy it again. The next one I would definitely buy again. It's the Secret Palette from Nabla. This has for such a long time been my absolute favorite palette in my collection. Now the side by side from Nabla is my favorite but this has something special about it and people do not talk about this. I can't remember if it was that popular when it came out. I don't think so. I think that this, this came out after Poison Garden and Poison Garden. If you remember, you remember. Um, but I think this is a really good neutral, half neutral, half colorful palette and my shirt is annoying and I do love this palette. It has some amazing shades, well the shades are amazing and it has a deep black and I think it's a good variation of shimmers and mattes and it really has this thing that I love about palettes a shimmer and a matte that goes really good together so you can do a look with only two shades i think that is amazing and i just love this palette i think it's so so good i would definitely buy it again it is still one of my favorite palettes and i i think it's really good i do love everything about it i love the front of it i love the color story i love the weight of the palette i love the size of the palette i I would 100% buy that again. And I would say the same about the Creepy Cute from Shroud. This is the best pastel palette I have in my collection. I know that a lot of people has this as their best pastel palette in the collection. And it is an amazing pastel palette. All the shadows are amazing. And I know that I am super pale, so like if I say that they all show up on me, 
I know it doesn't, it may not be the case for everybody, but for my pale skin tone, but they are just so pigmented. And they are blendable and they are buildable and it is just such an amazing palette. And I've had this for four years maybe and it still is as good as it was when I first bought it. This was the first shadows I tried from Shroud and I would definitely buy this again. This is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and it's my favorite fun pastel palette and I do like love names with this palette and everything and it is as good as people say it is. I I don't know how they did this but this is an amazing pastel palette. The next palette is the Scarlet Dusk from Ace Brute and if you have been here on my channel and heard me talk about palettes you know that I really like this one. And I didn't thought that I was going to because a pink isn't my thing. And this is kind of pink. It has some orangey tones as well. But um, I do think that this palette is really, really good. The formula is good. The, the deeper shades are really good. The shimmers are really good. And I think that this is one palette that HBT did succeed with. And... They came out with the, I think these were the first like smaller palettes, like their 12 pan palettes. They have had those like, was it the Paradise Collection? I can't remember. Um, But yeah, these were their first palettes in this size. And if I haven't used it and it came out now, I wouldn't have bought it because this isn't my color story. But now when I have used it, I would buy it if it came out again because now I know how good this is. And this was one of these palettes, you know, I bought it because I wanted to collect. I was shopping at Beauty Bay and I was like, I throw in the Scarlet Dusk as well. And I'm so happy that I did. And I just think it is a really good palette, even though it is a pink one. Second to last palette he did pick out was the Wild Berry from Nabla. This is one of the cute palettes. This is number five. It looks like this and I wouldn't buy this again actually. I I think it is it's a good palette. I've done at least one good look with it. The thing though I think I don't know if it is the background that I don't like or it's something about this. I don't think they did like a home run with all the cutie palettes and I actually think that I wouldn't buy this again. I, I do like it but I don't think this has not been a palette that I've been looking forward to use that much and uh, I like it but it's nothing. I think I would like it more if it was a lighter background because I think the colors would have popped more. Like this blackberry is almost like disappearing with this background. And uh, I wouldn't buy this again. And I'm always so surprised when I talk about Nabla and I come to the conclusion that I wouldn't buy the palette again. Because Nabla is one of my favorite brands, but yeah, I don't love all of them. And the last palette is a really old palette that was a collab palette between Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne. And this is the Kaleidoscope Dream. It looks, I can't bend this back and I can't, it looks like this. This is a palette that is the most like rumbly, <laughs> oh, not a good to look at palette. And this was a palette that I bought, I think it was half off when this collection was discontinued and they sold it out. And the first time I saw it, I was like, what is that for kind of shit? Like, why is there different sizes on the pans and like the split pan? And I just thought it was too rambling with like the background and everything. But then I saw people use it. I saw swatches on it and I was like, maybe it isn't that bad. And then it was half off and I was like, of course I'm going to buy it. So. I I wouldn't buy this again. When I bought this, 
I didn't have like this uh, any of these green shades in my collection I didn't have like these deeper shimmer purples I didn't have that many blues in my collection and now I do and I don't think this is so special I do think this was special when it came out like this wasn't something that you saw every day so when it came out it was special but now I wouldn't buy it again I think it's too rambly I have other palettes that I love more and I have done looks that I've been really liking with this one do any of you have this palette? Um, that would be fun to know. But yeah, I guess that was all for this video. I can maybe scoot to the middle again. I guess that that was all for this video. I do hope that you liked it. I think it's fun to do these videos and like talk a little bit about the palettes. And you seem to like when I'm doing videos about the eyeshadow palettes in my collection. And this has just been a really good thing for me to do now when I'm in my no-buy and talk about palettes in my collection and it's also fun. I, I like that my boyfriend picks out the palettes for me because he doesn't know anything about palettes and he doesn't know what I feel about the palettes. So I think I wouldn't have shoes in the same palettes that he does. So I think that is fun so I can talk about palettes that I don't think that I would have talked about if I have done this myself. But yeah, okay, I think, I think, I hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my other videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!